Stargazers may want to keep their eyes on the sky because a giant asteroid is expected to go right by Earth tonight. This thing is over 2.5 million miles away from Earth, and that sounds pretty far, but in terms of space, it's actually real close. Close enough for NASA to call it a, quote, potentially hazardous object. Now, this thing is apparently the size of the Brooklyn Bridge, whose central span is over 1,000 feet long. So that would be pretty scary if it really was on a collision course with Earth. But no worries, there's no risk of it actually colliding with us. Joining us now is astrophysicist Dr. Paul Sutter. He's a NASA advisor and author of How to Die in Space, A Journey Through Dangerous Astrophysical Phenomena. Dr. Paul, great to have you with us. Now, space is, of course, a busy place, and asteroids pass by Earth all the time. If this thing is not going to collide with Earth, why label it a potentially hazardous object? Why, why all this attention? Oh, uh, this is a great question because, yes, like you said, space is very busy. There are rocks flying by all the time. And we want to be very careful. We want to monitor every single potential threat. One, because the more we monitor, the better we get at monitoring and finding more actually dangerous rocks in advance. And two, rocks can change their orbits. Things can mm. change, and a potentially hazardous object can become an actually hazardous object very quickly. Now, I, of course, am no expert in this, but I know that for a long time, right, experts have argued that we need an improved planetary defense system. That's the case you seem to be making here, too, you know, one that scans the skies for these smaller objects that, you know, it might not destroy Earth, but would certainly do significant damage to something like a city. Is this that kind of asteroid that they've been talking about? Yes, to give you some perspective, this asteroid is around uh, 10 to 50 meters across. Uh, and if that were to strike the Earth, if it were to strike the Earth, it would be going at tens of thousands of miles per hour. And with that much kinetic energy, it would release the equivalent amount of energy as the nuclear bombs dropped over Japan in World mm. War II. I mean, this is, yeah, this is, this is, you must ruin every party you go to. I mean, you know, for, for me, for me, I immediately then think, okay, well, what could happen if the next one comes along and we're not ready? I mean, last year, we know that NASA successfully changed an asteroid's orbit in their DART mission. If this asteroid had been on a real collision course with Earth, do you think we have the technology we need to defend our planet? Uh, the answer to that question is Maybe, and it depends. If we can spot the asteroid early enough, we can potentially send an intercept mission like the DART mission and knock it off course. And a small change in its initial orbit will end up adding up over time and completely missing the Earth. But if we wait too long and we don't catch it soon enough, there's nothing we can do and we just have to hold on for dear life. Dr. Paul Sutter reminding us all to hold on for very dear life. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.